Hi, my name is MC Kobe. I'm an African vlogger from Ghana and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Currently, I'm at the Oasis Beach Resort right in the heart of Cape Coast, about two minutes walk from the Cape Coast Castle. I'm relaxing, having fun, I'm chilling like you see, you saw my drink. And currently, I'm waiting for my fried chicken for that tight collaboration. I've been here for like 15 minutes and they are still not in yet. I've made the order, but they are not here with the chicken yet. But I'm still not bothered because I'm really enjoying this place. This is a very cool place with a sea breeze, you know, very refreshing and all that. So I'm really enjoying it. It's around 12 in Ghana now, but, and it's very hot. But at this place, the story is very different. This place is very chilly. I mean, the air is very fresh because of the sea, like you saw from my intro. You saw the sea. So this is a very cool place. Whenever you come to Ghana, I know you can't come to Ghana without coming to Cape Coast. So whenever you come to Ghana and Cape Coast, to be specific, make sure you come to the Oasis Beach Resort. Like I said, it's just two minutes walk from the Cape Coast Castle, a very important or major landmark in Ghana here and in Cape Coast as well. So make sure you come around. I'm waiting for my chicken like I said, but I'm really enjoying this place. So from here, I'll move straight to the work of the day. Eventually, my food was delivered. Mmm, yummy. I was super excited at this point. So after doing justice to the food, I moved straight to the Cape Coast Castle, one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites in Ghana here. To see with my naked eyes its current state after it was closed down due to COVID-19. Afterwards, I had some conversations with the indigenous to find out how the closure has affected their lives. So guys, so I'm now leaving the Oasis Beach Resort and I'm moving straight to the Cape Coast Castle and that is what you see right there. You see that tall white edifice, you know, there where I'm pointing, yes, that is the Cape Coast Castle. So, so after close to two minutes, I got there and closed. This is the main entrance of the Cape Coast Castle. You know what? I took the risk to enter because of my love for you. I want you to know what is actually going on in there. So that is me entering. Um, pardon me, the video is a bit shaky here because I didn't want to be seen capturing. But I met two men in there and they were not willing to be put on tape. They confirmed to me that the place has been closed down till further notice this is as i was going out it is now time to interact with the indigents you could see the place is practically empty what covid19 can do <laughs> Okay, so um, I want you to tell us the changes that you've seen okay. after the castle was closed down. Okay, right now I can say um, before the foreigners used to come to, I mean, the castle and these places, but now since that closed down, nobody's okay, okay. So yeah, it's like good. there's been a little bit of distance between for the past and the now. Okay. Oh, yeah, good. and things are not moving like before. Especially sometimes when you come to Oasis, you see a lot of people, like today, Tuesday, after like this. Okay. A lot of people coming here, but for now, you see the place is very quiet. Yeah, I just you know, came from the place and the number of people there was very, very few. Yeah, very yeah, few. Yeah, yeah. That was how the changes has made. You know. Okay, and how is that affecting you personally as uh, an indigent or someone who lives around? Okay, it's like, it's affecting in a way that, you know, before, we used to interact with people that we don't know, so we can learn from them. Okay. But now, 
more there are no more coming so you are not getting any new things and before it, this place is a craft shop okay you should sell things okay. like craft so works around that place no this shop this shop just this shop yeah okay yeah i'll go there after. okay but for now you know no one is coming to buy from them so business too is going down okay yeah. you know we interact with the foreigners to also get what we want okay like but what like you no know, as we sell to them okay. we sell something like rings and other things yeah. but now they are not coming for that so our business are going down okay but are you part of the people who sell yeah okay what do you say um like that work with designing like what you have like, like this bag okay uh, all right like so i'll place your number on the screen so that you know my viewers can call you whenever they need some no problem all right and then do you wish they come back shortly do you the classes are open for people to come around oh yeah 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 but that's how we're going to promote our business okay yeah and how soon do you want that to happen? Oh, any moment from now. Okay. Yep. All right, brother. Thanks for interacting with me. Thank you. Yo, my brother, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you, bro. <laughs> Please tell us your name. My name is Bibini Broni. Okay. And what do you do? I'm one of the popular artists in the page. Okay. Um, what do you do, actually? Actually, I'm an artist working on uh, mm -hmm. canvas with, like, paintings. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I see your shop is very close to the Cape Coast Castle. So now I want you to tell us some of the changes that you've seen after the castle was closed down due to the COVID-19. Nothing. I haven't seen anything because uh, there's no any help from anywhere, you know? Okay, but uh, before before we continue, before the castle was closed down, is this how things were? No. Okay, so what, what has changed? And, and the changes now is there's no already penetrating you know mm -hmm. and there's no uh, 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 tourists coming okay you know at the same time Cape Coast is the one of the the, the tourist cities in Ghana sure sure so I think mostly tourism that you do here okay dealing with foreign people so if there's no tourists around how can we do business okay so it's affecting business it's affecting business it's affecting our daily lives. Okay. You know, as you can see on the beach. Yeah. There's nobody. Sure, I can see that. And I'm sure my you subscribers know. also can see because I've yeah. shown them in shots of the place. Yeah. People see? are very few here. Yeah. Oh. And and those people, they are not tourists. Mm -hmm. They also, they are here. Yeah. So I think what we need is that we want the government to open the way to open the way okay. for the people to come. Because maybe they are tired, they want to come and rest, mm -hmm. and they can see something that we have, we good things that we are doing, so that they also they can support the, our our economy, you know? Okay. Yeah. And how soon do you want this to be done? How soon do you want the government to open the castle for yeah, tourists for me, For me, I don't have power. I no. don't have map to talk. Though they have, they have the map to talk, they have any ways and means to approach him to do that very quick because I think those they have been affected a lot they have opened their borders you know so if he can do as the people are doing okay. I think everything will be nice All right. so that the normal movement will come your final words yeah, you know what I want to say is that you know yeah we want this virus to go okay so that the world can be free because you want to see our brothers and sisters happiness you want to see them back you know we miss them we love them we miss them okay. yeah that's why we are praying that everything should come normal so that we can see our friends back again yeah that's a lot of work. okay see how my memory oh man let me do so but you would not say uh, if I'm Patrick, but I don't know from Patili. Patili, yeah. wow, 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 Patili. Yeah. Right. Um, but what's your idea? Yeah, 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 Okay. Now, then, how are you? What's your idea? Oh, my workshop for Castle One Man, I'm going to art and craft one year, man. It is these backpacks and tidy paintings. Uh, me say yeah, uh, you know, customized wrist banner. It would trade a dingo so I need you maybe breathe. Chenny, you maybe breathe. Oh my god, don't worry, I've got you covered. 
So this man, Patrick, popularly known as Patele, also owns a craft shop and he told me things are very hard now, we are not in normal times. He has closed his shop for over two months now after the castle was closed down because tourists are no longer coming down to patronize what he has and he told me that whites patronize most often from his shop. This is where I will end the video. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, like, share and also subscribe. I'm out.